Hello friends, namaste dosto. Welcome back to America Loves India. Please subscribe to our channel, leave a comment in the comment section, and hit that like button as it helps our channel. Today, we are going to try some Indian sweets. These are just a few sweets, what we Americans call dessert, Indians call sweets. And there's tons of Indian sweets, so this is just part one. We'll have probably part two, part three, part four, part five. And I am going to be honest, I normally give really positive reviews with about a lot of Indian food, but there are uh, some Indian sweets that I like and there are a lot of Indian sweets that I don't like. So we're gonna try a few today and see what I think about them. We're gonna show you some close-ups of what the sweets look like, talk a little bit about them, and then I'm gonna taste them and see what I think about them. So here we go. Let's see, which one should we start with first? this all right I I have never the, some of these sweets I've had before and some I've never had before we're gonna start out with this one what's it called uh, so this sweet is called uh, Mysore Pak Mysore Pak yes. and so I'm gonna give you this is what it looks like I know it kind of looks like maybe the bottom of a pie or something but that's what it looks like okay so do you know what this is made of? Uh, well, it's made of, as far as I know, I think it's made of basin and a lot of uh, pure desi ghee. Desi ghee. So desi ghee is kind of like a... a classified butter. Classified butter. So it sounds good, but I'm going to test this out right now and see what it tastes like. Mmm. 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 -mm. Well... It was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I really had to bite into it. I thought it would be softer. Um, so, I said it kind of looked like the crust of a pie. It kind of tastes like the crust of a pie also. Um, oh, maybe, what am I tasting? Probably cardamom. Cardamom, yes. I taste cardamom, which, if you don't know what cardamom tastes like and it's in your food, it will kind of surprise you. Uh, so, this sweet is okay. Definitely not my favorite. Kind of a lackluster. But that's okay. We'll move on to the next sweet. All right. Let's do this white one. So, we're doing this white sweet. What's it called? I think uh, this is uh, Kalakand. It's made of... Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I have no idea uh, what's the ingredients inside. But I think it's from Bengali sweet. I have no idea, but let's see how it tastes. So first I'll give you... This is what it looks like. It's a white square. So you like this sweet, right? Yep. Okay, I've never had... This is another one I've never had. How do you pronounce it again? Uh, Kalakand. So, if you want to know more about this, go and Google and type in Kalakand. It was a lot softer. I like that part. I'm really serious about my textures. I like this one better already because it's softer. Once again, there's just not much flavor there. That's, I'm kind of surprised. Like Indian food, there's so much flavor, and when it comes to their sweets, it just kind of tastes like a lot of sugar and not much flavor. Are we going to tell about what we got from India too? Because India is tasty. No. No, then it's not right because it is from India too, and it's not taste like that. It just take a bad, bad thing. So we bought this at an Indian store here in America, and so they're not as fresh as it would be like in India. So obviously fresher is always better than not fresh. But I mean, I imagine it still tastes pretty similar. I mean, this one's better. I like it better. All right, now, yeah, go ahead. We're gonna move on to this one. What's this called? Chicky. This is called Chicky. Chick Chicky. And I've had this one before. This is what it looks like. It looks and tastes, it's pretty much peanut brittle. Mm. 
So you can't get wrong with that, right? Maybe, maybe a little bit different. It's good though. I like chicky. I would recommend this to all Americans. If you're an Indian, tell us what your favorite sweet is. Tell us what sweet you don't like. So chicky is good. Okay. Now we're gonna do this big green one. John, can you cut one minute? My spectacles kind of dirty. Okay, now we're gonna do this big green one. And what's this called? Uh, pista burfi. Pista burfi. What is the pista? Um, mean? how you pronounce that? Pista, pistachio. Pist yeah, pistachio. pistachio. The pist pista stands for pistachio. And so this looks like a big green square, basically. Is that pistachio inside it? I guess so. Yeah. And so, so what was it? P pista burfi. Yeah. So this is really popular. This is everywhere in India. I I don't really know if I've ever had this before. I've never had it before. But you've had burfi, right? I had burfi, yeah. I don't know if I've ever even had burfi. It just didn't sound appealing. So here we go. A soft texture, which is good. But once again, it just tastes kind of bland. So far, the chickie's my favorite. Maybe I can taste a little bit of pistachio. Here, you want to try it? All right, we'll move on to this one. Okay. What is this called? Imarti. Imarti. So you, there's also another sweet called Jalebi. Is that how you pronounce it? Jalebi, yeah. Jelly bee. So this is a bigger version of jelly bee. And so what's in what's in this? I forgot. Yeah, it's like fried corn syrup kind of. So I've had this before, and I will tell you, it's got a crunchiness to it. If you're a texture person, Ooh. it's very sweet. It is very sweet. When I first got married to my wife, her parents brought five of these over and they were nice and warm and they wanted me to eat all five. And I ate all five and I'll never do that again because it's very sweet. It's good, but I can only handle a little bit. I would recommend this one, Imarti. Okay, what is this one called? Basin no, Kaladu. It's not basin. No. Uh, Motichur. Is it a ladu? Yeah. It, but Motichur ladu? Motichur ladu. Yeah. But you can say Motichur only. So that's what it looks like. Don't ask me what it is in this one. So a ladu is very popular in India. They get ladus at like wedding parties. Um, I've had some ladoos, but I don't think I've ever had this kind. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, it's really, really soft. It tastes like most ladoos, though. I, I'm not a big fan of ladoos. A little bit of flavor. I couldn't even really tell you what the flavor is, though. No, thank you. No, thank you. And I think this is the last one. What's it called? Uh, Dudha Barfi. I'm not even going to pronounce that. Another Barfi. Which has an interesting name. Or just, what's in this one, do you know? Uh, milk. Milk, yeah. Milk and maybe dry nut and sugar. Dud in Hindi means milk. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I mean, it kind of looks like a brownie or chocolate, but it doesn't taste like chocolate. I like this one. To me, it tastes pretty similar to all the other ones. I would say, out of all of these, my favorite is probably the chicky, because it tastes like peanut brittle, so I'm familiar with that. 
It's got a lot of texture and it's sweet. Maybe after that, probably the Imarti one, which is like fried corn syrup. Oh, we have one more. I forgot about this one. So this one is called Tamarind Candy. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you know what the flavor of tamarind tastes like. This is really sour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really sour. I would compare it to, um, what are those called? Sour Patch? Sour Patch Kids or something like that? Yeah. I would compare it to that. It's really sour. If you like sour sweets, I would recommend it. You can't eat too many though. I really like that one also. So those are probably my th three favorite out of all these. I would say my favorite sweet is not here and we'll show my favorite sweets for later when we can maybe get some more fresher and better sweets also. But there, those are my thoughts about sweets so far. Once again, tell me what your favorite Indian sweet is. If you've had an Indian sweet, um, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment in the comment section and hit that like button. Until next time, namaste dosto.